What's going on everybody? So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating something that is going to aid us in the welding process. Now, I get questions all the time in comments, in live shows, everything about why do you see me putting foil over the ends of pipe that I'm welding? The easiest explanation of this is that oxygen reacts with metal when metal gets hot, which causes the metal to oxidize, aka rust. Now, stainless steel does the exact same thing. It does oxidize. However, it doesn't rust right away. It looks nasty and gray and dull. And it does this thing called sugaring where the, the welds on the backside of it actually is just nasty. So what you do is you fill the pipe with an inert gas such as argon, which is what we use on the TIG welder. You fill the pipe with argon. It devoids it of oxygen. Therefore, the pipe cannot oxidize when it gets warm. So it's just another way of saving the metal, making sure that the metal doesn't react with oxygen while you're welding the metal. So what we do is we cover both ends with foil, we poke some holes in the foil on one end, and we put an actual gas feed into the other end of the pipe. This displaces all the oxygen and replaces it with argon, therefore creating a much cleaner environment for the weld to penetrate. So we have another crazy creation that we have to weld here. This is actually an up pipe for a Turbo Civic with a K series motor in it. And we got to weld up a bunch of stuff. There's some pie cuts, there's some V-band flanges, there's a massive four inch hood exit. It's three inch pipe. So I'll show you guys that now and then I'm going to show you how we make a purge plug, which is going to make our lives a whole lot easier. So here's what the pipe looks like. You have a bunch of pie cuts there, then the V-band for the wastegate, little elbow, some more pie cuts, and then here to the four inch exit along with the wastegate dump. So basically we're gonna be welding this. Now, you can't really see it because it didn't do too much on the tacks, but you got all those tacks there, and then inside you can kind of see that massive discoloration right there. That's what happens when you don't use a purge gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a purge plug and it will literally be a piece of aluminum that will slide in, tapered aluminum will slide in and hold snug in there with a hose outlet on it so that we can actually take the purge hose right here from the tank on the left over there and we're going to insert argon into here. Now on this end we're just going to cover this end with foil, poke a couple holes in it and then we'll be good to go. So we're going to head over to the lathe. I'm going to bring you guys over there with me with the GoPro. I'll do a quick time lapse of actually making this plug on the lathe and uh, maybe I'll stop in between just to kind of give you guys a, a little bit of like, hey, here's what we're doing right now and here's why we're doing this. So we'll see you over at the lathe. Alright guys, so here's what we're starting with. It's basically just a scrap piece of slug that I had laying around. Now we're going to chop that off right about there and then we're going to put a taper on this. So it starts out at about, I don't know, 2 inches 900 thou. And then we'll do a taper straight back and then a flat on the end. And then we're going to drill a hole straight through it. And we're actually going to put a plug where we can plug in, you know, a hose or whatever. We'll probably just use like a quarter inch air fitting or something. So we're going to get to that now. I'm going to time lapse it on the GoPro and uh, here we go. Now that we got a nice face on there, if it'll focus, but it probably won't, what we're going to do is basically we're going to take this piece of material, we're going to move it out, we're going to cut down its overall diameter to be right around 3 inches, and once we get that 3 inch diameter, then we're going to cut the taper on it, because the inside of a 3 inch piece of pipe, in case you're not aware, is actually not 3 inches, it's about 2.85-ish, 2.850 somewhere in that general vicinity. So we're going to cut this down, then we'll start that taper at about 2.75, and maybe we'll make up that 100 thou over the taper, depending on how much of a taper I decide to put on it. But we're going to get there now. I'm going to cut this down a little bit to three inches, and then we'll go from there.
so we are now down to three inches and 55 thousandths which is where I'm gonna stop it and we're gonna start cutting the taper on it now to cut the taper this machine is actually pretty easy tighten that down so that it's stationary get your degrees of taper based off of those two bolts right there which we're probably just gonna do a full taper there's no real measurement in this and then let it rip and it'll actually cut a taper starting from this corner and running outward that way so we're going to end up with a slight cone and we're going to get that cone down to about 2.750 inches which will give us a hundred thou play which should put our pipe right about in the middle when we push the, the cone in and it'll hold in there nicely so we're going to get on that taper right now so here's the fit up basically we're gonna clean that edge up clean that face up a little bit drill a hole through it and then do what we got to do but you can kind of see the taper on that this camera doesn't want to focus today but not too bad let's see how it fits perfect exactly like I wanted it to dead center hit it down a little bit and it doesn't come out so that taper is actually really good so this is gonna work out great now all we got to do, like I said, clean this face up, drill a hole through it, put the fitting in, and we're done. finished product so you see how it fits nice inside of there pull it out tapered hole straight through little quarter inch fitting so when you pop that in there stays in there nice then we can take our purge hose if we can find the end of it take our purge hose Pop it right on top of there like so and now we don't have to mess with foil on that side we can literally just put foil on this end and continue using the perch plug on that side and this will stay guys that'll stay in there no problem then when you want to pull it out you give it a little wiggle pops right out so there you go diy perch plug no need to buy one when you got a lathe so there it is all right hope you guys enjoyed that video there's going to be another video tomorrow or Saturday of me actually welding this crazy system here. So you'll get to see that as well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. I wanted to kind of get some lay the machine work in there. Just kind of show you guys that. So I'm going to go down and edit this thing now. Again, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for uh, understanding about the sporadic video uploads. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great night.